Hello, this is Andrew from Samu Apps, and in this tutorial we're going to look at importing AppGerator into the Swift project. So to start off with, we'll just download AppGerator from the GitHub page here. Just grab the latest version, so once this is loaded up, in the right hand side we'll go to download zip. We'll let that download. So I've just set up this new Xcode project here, that's blank, it's just got AppGerator. So to do that you just go File, New Project. Go single view application and then name the pro project whatever you want it to be. So test, accurator, or whatever. And uh, make sure the language is set to Swift. So while accurator is downloading, what we need to do to get it to work in the Swift, we need to create what's called a bridging header. And to do that, we just go to File, then New, File. Just use a Coca Touch class. And what we're going to do, it's going to make a temp view controller. And make sure under language you change that from Swift to Objective C. And we'll go next. And we'll just create that. And the reason for that is, is it gives you this prompt here. If you try to create an Objective C file, it asks you if you want to create a bridging header. So we'll just go to yes. And that will create the bridging header down here for us. So those view controllers we made, we can just delete those, we don't need it now. The reason we created it was just so it would generate that bridging header for us. So now that we've got that set up, we're going to import the Appurator SDK into our project. So just go to wherever you've downloaded that to. So this is just in our downloads. Okay, we've got the Appurator folder here, so we're just going to drag that folder across and copy all the items into our project. Right, so that's added the folder here, so we're just going to move that into supporting files. And now we'll just take a look at the page to see what we need to set it up. Okay, so what we're going to do, we've added the apparator code to our project. We don't need to worry about line 2 when using Swift. And under number 3, we need to add in CF framework, sorry, CF network, system configuration, and store kit frameworks into our project. So to do that, we'll just go up to here, select our targets, go to build phases. Go down here and select add that store kit. CF network. And system configuration. And we'll set the store kit from required to optional. Okay, now that we've set that up, we're going to configure it in our bridging, our bridging file header. So to do that, we just go hashtag import app erator dot h, and basically that imports our app erator SDK and creates a bridge from it to use it from Objective-C into our Swift project. So from here to set it up, we're just going to go to our app delegate. And then in the view, in the did finish with launching options, just going to add Appurator. We'll do Appurator.apt launched is true, so this should be it here, yep. And that's now I did launch with options. After to set it up, we're going to go to our main view control that's first loaded when the application is loaded. And we're just going to add this Appurator code here. So 
So basically, we set the app launch to true again in here. We set the app ID, which I'll show you where to get that later. Set days until prompt is how many days it'll wait to actually asking you to rate your app. And also, we can set the uses to be used combined with the days to a prompt to make it, and they say it needs to be used three times and also needs to wait until three days until prompting the user for a rating. Um, the time before reminding is when the user asks to remind me later, that's how many days it will wait. And set debug, we'll usually leave that to false when our application is live, but when you're testing it, you can set it to true, and what that does is it pops up and asks you to rate the app every time, so you can just make sure that works. So we'll just run the application here, and we'll see it pop up and ask us to rate our app. Now you may notice that it may ask you to rate a null. Now to fix that, we need to do the following. Just under our targets, we go to Build Settings, I believe it is. Get some info, so go to Info. And under any of these things, you should see a plus sign if you click on them. Just go plus. You'll see this menu here. So what we need to do here is we need to select bundle display name. So we'll just set ours here to CMU Tutorials. Now we're on the project and it should ask us to rate sim tutorials as here. Now just going back to our view controller, when you have got it set up, what you need to make sure is once you've set up your application in iTunes Connect, it will have an app ID which I'll just show you here. Let's have this Apple ID. So this will be unique to your application and what you need to do, you need to copy this Apple ID and you need to put it in this set app ID just to make sure when the user does rate it that it links up to your correct app. So you can download the source code below and remember to subscribe for more tutorials and comment for any suggestions.